Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going over 3D tools for designers. I've got a good variety from creating some quick mock-ups to creating some detailed 3D models. So I hope you guys find something that fits your workflow on today's list. So let's dive in to some amazing 3D tools for designers. The first 3D tool on today's list is Spline. You can get this at spline.design. And right away on the hero section, you can see this nice 3D scene they've laid out that I can interact with and kind of click and drag to orbit through it. So it does a good job of showing you visually of what Spline is capable of. So if we scroll down, 3D has never been easier. I agree with this. It's a very easy tool to learn. The level of entry is very low. As a designer going into this, it was very intuitive with a lot of the layering systems and similar layout to something like Figma that they have. I really like how they've made it more designer friendly. One thing I really like about Spline as well is the simplicity is there, but you still have all of the capabilities you would with a 3D tool, like 3D modeling, animation, sculpting, real-time collaboration, and their material system is really nice as well. So let's take a look at Spline real quick. So I just got a brand new file and I'm just gonna drag and drop a sphere in here and we'll just zoom in on that there so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see here in the material system, they have this nice layering. So we can just drag and drop these around to customize them super easily. And same thing goes over here on the left of the hierarchy. Currently, we only have one element in the scene though. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to create a blob and animate it. So I'm just going to add a new material and we'll go and add a displace to this material. And we can crank that up and we have this nice blob shape. And then I'm actually going to remove this color and add a depth instead. And so by doing so, that allows us to create a kind of 3D gradient where I can say at the center of the object, I want it to be one color. And then as it expands further out from the center, I want it to be another color. So we'll set that to a blue and a nice mint color, something like that. And then we'll crank the displace a little higher. And then we can adjust that depth there. Then just making a few quick tweaks to that. So it's super easy to animate this now. So I just got to select my object and then go up to state. So it's similar to prototyping in something like Figma or Adobe XD. So I have my base state and on my base state, I have my movement under displace at one. I can go to the new state and then crank that to something like 50. And then under events, we'll just click the plus. So start is my default event, which is good. So at the start, I want to go from the base state to the new state. And we'll just set that to a duration of 10 seconds. Then we can just hit this play button. And now we have our nice blob animation. I can even rotate and move this around. And you can actually control that when you go to export. You can say whether the user can orbit, pan, zoom, and so on here. And so you can completely customize this. I can get a public URL where I can actually see this in the browser. I have different export options, which is nice for code and image and frame recording and so on. And if you're interested in any of the 3D tools I showcase in today's video, I'll have them all linked down in the description. So check out Spline at spline.design. Speaking of design tools, if you're interested in a design tool that's browser-based, check out the sponsor of today's video, ReadyMag. ReadyMag is a browser-based design tool that helps you create websites and landing pages. It has no layout limitations, it's packed full of advanced animations, a library of 5,000 plus fonts, customizable templates to speed up your workflow, and an intuitive drag-and-drop editor so that you can design with creative freedom. So if you're searching for a web-based design tool to help you build websites, ReadyMag is free to start and you don't need a credit card to sign up. And you can check it out with the link at the top of the description. And if you use promo code Kaler, the first 50 users can try out the freelancer plan for $16. And with that freelancer plan, you can create up to five websites with an unlimited number of pages. You can add up to three domains to your account and add two collaborators to work jointly on your projects. So make sure you check out ReadyMag Thanks to ReadyMag for sponsoring today's video. This next one you might have seen on my channel a few times. It's Adobe Dimension. And this one is available if you have Adobe Creative Cloud. This one's really easy for creating static images. So if you need a background image with some abstract shapes, or you have a 3D model that you've bought or modeled in some other program, you can just drag and drop that OBJ in here and just scale and move things around and create a cool looking scene and easily render an image but this is very limiting. You can't 3D model, you can't create animations, and you can't render as a video. It's just static images, which is where the plus side of this comes in 
This was actually originally designed to create product photos. So if I go to my environment, I already have this background image and I can just drag in a coffee cup and I'll scale this down. And you can see the shadow is automatically generating here on this table, which is just this background image, which is insane. I wish Adobe would do more with this and make this a full blown 3D tool, but I don't think they have any plans of doing that. So this is really nice for creating these product photos and images. But again, it's very limiting as a 3D tool. So if you're not looking for just creating a static image or render of a product, I wouldn't recommend this for doing really any 3D work. It's just a nice tool to have in your arsenal. I'll have a link to that down in the description. This next one is Rotato and you can get this at rotato.app. I'll have the link down in the description on this one as well. And this one is really good for creating some digital product photos. I actually use this to create a lot of my thumbnails. So I'll go ahead and load it up. So you can see right away, I have a lot of 3D models to choose from. So I'm just going to grab the Pro Display XDR. And this one does have animations because it's got this timeline that you can keyframe down here on the bottom. But this one's really nice for adding a design into a product like this display. So if I just drag and drop an image or video that's 2560 by 1440, whatever the template size recommends here, it will automatically start playing the video or just put that image here like so. And then I can, let's just delete these keyframes here and we'll just start with a new one. So I'll keyframe here and then I'm gonna zoom out, do another keyframe and then we'll extend the time that that goes. And then I'll do one more keyframe, add it there. And we'll extend that out a little more. And you can see that I've already got a nice Pro XDR display animating. I can set a background color and I can render this as a video or just screenshot the image. And they've got a lot of animation templates and camera settings that you can adjust in here, but it's really good for adding your designs like your app designs or web designs into a monitor, a iPad or an iPhone to create a cool realistic mock-up. Before we go over the last two on today's list, if you don't see your favorite 3D design tool in this video, make sure you comment it down below and I might have a part two to this where we go over some more cool 3D tools. So the last two I've grouped together as they're very similar. The first one is Blender. So you can get this one at blender.org. This one is completely free and it's open source. So you can download that right now and start using it and learning Blender. The next one is Cinema 4D. This one is not free. It costs a little bit more. I think it may be like $60 a month. And I'm not gonna go in too much detail on these tools as they're very similar, but Blender and Cinema 4D are pretty much industry standard for creating amazing looking 3D. So if you want to tackle the task of learning one of these tools, I would highly recommend it if you wanna do some amazing 3D work. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you were able to find an amazing 3D tool for your workflow. Special thanks to ReadyMag for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their design tool with the link at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe for more design related videos every single week. In the meantime, check out these related videos. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.